Hi guys, my name is William Dowling. I am a professional mountain biker. This weekend we have the first race of the season and this is called the TBF Mountain Bike Kickstart. It's a local race about six miles away. Just a college graduate posted up playing Minecraft. Honestly, I thought <laughs> during COVID, I was like, man, maybe I'll just quit racing bikes and become a professional Minecrafter. Honestly, it probably pays better, but I guess that's not saying very much. So it's two days before the race, and today I'm gonna be doing four hours zone two with two tempo laps of the course in there. Should be fun, looking forward to it. Working on my bike now and just changed a couple linkage bearings and look at this mess that I made. Oh my gosh. So one thing I'm going to tell you guys about today is called the tree boost. It looks really, really dumb, but I used it in uh, Missoula and I used it in Winter Park this year. Essentially, it's when you're at a race and you come up next to a tree like this, you're going uphill and you push off of it and boost. And it works especially well in a section like this where it's kind of flat before it goes back up into a climb. It really helps you carry momentum, even though it looks <laughs> pretty stupid, but trust me, it is a pro move. So it's 5.45 and I just got up. I thought that now that I was done with collegiate racing, I would be, you know, done with these horrendous 8 a.m. start times, but I guess maybe not. But yeah, getting the oatmeal ready and uh, should be a good day of racing. So I just checked in, should have brought a handlebar light to warm up because it's still like dark, but it's like I'm number 56. So just finished my warm up. There's still about 19 minutes to go, but I'm gonna head over and camp to start now. Make sure I get that front row. Finish strong, Will. Good. Yeah, Will! Woo! So, Will, how'd the race go today? So, it was pretty good. Um, I think I got to the front a little early. Uh, I was like kind of pulling people a little bit to the single track. Got past a couple times going into the single track uh, and was sitting in third for most of the race. I crossed the line thinking I was in third, um, and then I guess uh, one of the dudes in front of me flatted out. So that's second in the pro category. I'll take that. So I just finished cooling down. <laughs> my shoes are soaking wet, so that was not a very fun cool down. But yeah, my Garmin said like 71 hours of recovery time or something. So yeah, again, pretty happy with how that went and ready to go home, I guess. So it's a couple days after the race and yesterday was actually my birthday. I'm 23 years old now, so I'm an elite rider. I'm not a U23 anymore. That's scary. I remember making fun of the elite riders at nationals, calling it the old man's race, but I'm in the old man's race this year, so it's scary. But yeah, I just thought I would take a little time here and talk to you guys about my sponsors for this year. I'm riding the same Santa Cruz Blur. I've put this frame and these wheels through the ringer and <laughs> they're still working great. There's no damage at all. So it's getting used for another season. These, of course, are ESI grips. I run the Racer's Edges. I've been running ESI grips for probably almost 10 years, and they're by far the most comfortable grips I've ever used, and they're, as far as I know, the lightest grips on the market. So what more do you want? Of course, the Power to Max Spider. These things are great because you don't have to go buy the 8-bolt crank set. You can just get the 3-bolt Spider, and then you have the best power meter on the market. And, of course, all the bikes in this garage exclusively use squirt chain lubes. So that's all I've got for this video. This took me two weeks to put together, even though this is like a five minute video. YouTube is really hard, guys, honestly. So make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, let me know what you guys want to see. If you like the race vlogs, if you like, you know, riding footage, just me trolling around. Let me know what you guys like so that way I know what to make. And yeah, that's all I've got. That's why.